see if I can fix that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now it's working. Okay. Alright, so there's a guy next to us at the uh, studio and he wanted a fall um, floral set for his parents' grave. So they have vases. So if you've never done them before, you get these. I just ran over to Hobby Lobby and got them because I didn't have any. I think I had one, but I needed two. So I usually put it in a cup or something. I've already done one. And then it occurred to me, oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever shown y'all how to do these. So I thought it would be fun to come on and show you how to do it. So this is the one I've already made. So here's the thing. There's hardly anything left for fall out there. So, I had to scrounge around just to find what I got. Ooh. Because I really don't have, I hardly have any fall, anything left. It's like all gone. So, so I thought, um, so I just got kind of a mixture of stuff. Oh, <laughs> Were you watching my video from last night? All right, so when I do these, I try to find a big bush because, and it's gonna have, you know, the right amount of flowers. Now, this one actually has one less flower than I normally like. I really like to have um, eight. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. No, I usually like to have nine. And so this one is one short, but that's okay. We'll make it work anyways. So I'm going to cut all these off. But, you know, I had to find two matching ones, so it kind of really limited what I could get. Now, they did have everything at Hobby Lobby was 75% off, so I was like, um, bonus. <laughs> okay. So, this one, this one was $20, so it was 75% off of that. This is five. Three, two, three, four, four, nine. It's really pretty. Isn't that really pretty? See that? Now, what I'm going to do, so if you look at this, what did I do with the other one? Oh. <clears throat> right, you want like a step ladder, okay? So you start with one in the middle, and then you kind of cascade down. It's, to me, it's like layers, like one layer, two layers, three layers, and then you fill in the middle. The more florals you have in your stem, then the bigger or the more number of layers you can have. See, and I always put it in a cup of some kind to hold it while I'm making it. I just stuck it one of our tumblers. Yeah, 60% off as well here. All right, now I'm gonna show you. So it's important that the main flower be taller than all of the rest. However, look how small these are. Okay, you see that? So what you can do, what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to put some, um, green sticks on it. The green sticks come with the wire. You see the wire? And so I'm going to make this much, much taller. Now this is, is this an 8 inch? It's a 7 inch green stick. So I'm going to add 7 inches on. 
So I'm going to pull the wire around, and then I just get out my floral tape. Okay, and I'm going to tape this around. So that's going to make sure it's not going to come off. To activate the floral tape, you have to stretch it. So that's when it starts to become sticky, is when you stretch it. So you'll know because you'll feel it getting sticky as you're stretching it. You've never seen green foam like this? Yeah, so this is for a cemetery, for a cemetery vase. Yeah, they have them pre-made. It just makes it much easier. Okay, so there. Now we can put our main one in. And you see how much taller it is? Right, because if you think about it, when you're doing something that's going to go in a cemetery vase. You're going to be looking from the top down. So one of the reasons why I like to do the stair step is because you want to see from the top down. You also want it to stand up because it's going to be on the ground. So, oh, that's nice. So now I'm going to pick, let's see. These three will be the ones that go on the bottom. These will go around this. So I'm gonna do more green pins with this. Now, I don't want it to be quite as tall, so I'm gonna come down further on the stem. And of course, I can also, huh, why does it have holes in it? Interesting. I don't think the other one did. I can also use my tape. And when I put this in, I can push it down further if I need to. I, you know, I don't think we have picked the name yet. I haven't talked to Zora or Casey to see what suggestions we've had so far. So then I want to put these around the four corners and I kind of want to fold it out a little. I don't think I want it to go quite that far out. There. That's about good. Okay. So how are y'all today? Hi. So my tape is brown because the stem is kind of brown. I'm taping floral, so this is floral tape. And what this does is this is gonna keep these two pieces together. So you see when I go down like this, it's gonna keep that wire from coming off and it's gonna make sure that it stays on there nice and snug. So, for those of you who do not have one of these, one of the pick machines, these are the things to get. Honestly, you need these anyways because sometimes you need to go higher than what you can get with a pick machine. So y'all can see my pick machine's right there. So very important. Uh, she is wearing a shirt. But that's just because that's just because we were discussing what we were gonna do. I cannot find anything I like to put on her. I just mm, I don't know. Alright. There we go. So I'm almost doing like, like the four corners. Like this. So the four corners around it. Where's my other, oh there it is. 
you see how we do the stair step oh thank you okay so I kind of have a not a, I don't see I don't really consider my stuff to be recipes I have kind of more like a guideline I would say I have I know aren't they pretty I have like a guideline I follow kind of thing for one it you know if I have to make pieces that are gonna match now uh, they're not gonna be exactly the same but they're gonna be very similar because I'm using the same kind of pattern there now I'm going to tell you one really cool cheat thing with this. Okay. I will get my pieces in here and get them set. And then I will take my glue gun and I will go in here and I will run glue right around where I put the flowers. Now I'll tell you why I really wish I had one more flower because I usually put a flower here and a flower here but we're missing that one flower uh, we are making the nice guy next door to the studio a uh, couple of cemetery pieces for his parents great all right so this one I'm gonna pick these I'm gonna pick okay Now, these are two and a half inch picks, so you can see they're not very tall. So you can see we progressively get lower. All right. Drives me crazy that I don't have that one. Because really what I like to do is have one. And then if I have even more layers, I put them in between those but we don't they didn't have another one i would have bought another one but <laughs> they only had these so yeah that's what we get all right so then i'm going to put this on so once i get kind of the base on then what i'm going to do is i'm going to start filling in okay so I have these, aren't these really cute? I can bend them over like this and I can kind of place them like right in between my flowers, see that? Back here. that's where our little spot that I don't like is but we will we will fix it as we go okay I don't know why that hole is already there that's kind of odd okay hmm these are missing their little that's okay we have another one we'll grab a couple of these the little top piece is missing off of these so we'll just grab it off the other one okay okay let's see I got one there I need one here I got one there one there one there okay I have two left You see the what? So I'm looking for things that I can pull out past the flowers. So when I went and purchased things, this is kind of this is kind of what I was looking for, right? Some inside. 
and kind of pull it out. Right. And then on the other side, so you see how we're starting to fill in a little bit. So that's this one. This one is FB1739. This one was uh, $11, but remember, this was 75% off. I think I got all of this plus a little bit of Christmas, and it was less than $100. Look at this. I, like, super love this. This was. I got this one and this one, and I love these because this is so, this is such a muted uh, flower because honestly that was really the only one I could find that's okay oh the title of live this is FBRY 14 and this one was six dollars so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this into two pieces okay right there right here I'm gonna kind of bend it over. I'm gonna put one on one side. Uh, look how stinking cute that is. And then one on the other side. See how you can kind of bend it like this. Oh, that! Y'all, you know you have to ignore me. I get excited. I got the flowers from Hobby Lobby. They were 75% off. I was like, I'll take it. I'll do that. Okay. So see, I'm cutting so I have some for this side. And some for the other side. And so we have balance because we're kind of coming out about the same amount. Can you see that? There. So this greenery here is going to help kind of fill in a little bit. I also have some um, delicate pieces I'm going to put in that just kind of help. This one is actually in my shop. This is a bead grass. I love this stuff because it's so versatile. Like you can just put it in so many things. It's uh, CS13102. And so I'll just take it. On the bottom ones, I'm going to kind of pull it out. Like this. There. There. So you do kind of see what I, how I kind of, how I kind of design it so that it's kind of like cascading down. There. One more on the bottom. There we go. And I've got one here, and I will put it just kind of on the inside. All right, so at this point, I'm going to take a minute and start to put some glue around these pieces. Now, sometimes I will use my glue pot, and sometimes I will come in with a glue gun and just kind of place these, because sometimes, especially with some of these, I might want to move my flowers around, so I'd rather come in after I'm pretty happy with how it's going and get that glue in. This is also low heat. So it's not gonna, it's 
not going to hurt anything. So I just kind of glued inside there. I know it's hard to see. <laughs> All right. We have a couple of very kind of kind of soft Philly flowers. This one is FB1720. Now this one I'm probably going to have to pick because it's very, very small. So I had another glue pot here. It's not my favorite because it's like this freaking big. <laughs> it's huge, y'all. But it'll work until I have time to get a new one. It's over here running. It just takes a lot of glue to fill it up. Okay, so I put it in and then I will spread it out, I think. This actually needs to there. Like that. Okay, so you kind of want it to there. Just like that. Okay. I've got one for the other side. See how it's just very kind of flimsy I will I will go live some this weekend arrangement and some outside like this there we go we also have these I super like these I don't know what the maker of the pick machine is honestly uh, it's panacer p-a-n-a-c-e-r panacea Y'all, I'm terrible with pronouncing names, so don't go by what I say. <laughs> I'm terrible at that. Okay. All right, so this I'm going to put in here. This can be a little challenging. Oh, look at that. How pretty is that? I love these. <laughs> these are so awesome. You'd rather watch me than TV. Okay. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow I'm doing a um, Veterans Day thing. And then I, I'm going to go over to the studio and hang out with Dixie and I can go live over there. Okay. See how that just kind of gives it a little bit of that softness. clean this up a little bit y'all it's great to keep these little pieces here they really can go a long way okay I want to put some of these in oh that was my glue gun okay these little leaves so I was trying to find things that were not you know hugely orange bright because of course these flowers would not look great with hugely orange bright so I try to stay away from that okay. alrighty so you always want to try and spread things out 
Okay. Make sure you're pulling some things out. So see how we kind of pull this out. So that's very important. It's gonna give it a lot more dimension if you do that than if you just have it all kind of in there. And that's why you get the wired so that you can. This needs a pick. If you don't have a pick machine, just remember to get those green sticks and a little floral wire, and you'll be in business. Okay. This I want to put kind of in here. Okay. And then this one I'm going to put over here. Now I have a little bit more of this. Okay. Thank you. I love doing this kind of stuff. And I hardly ever get to do it. Because, you know. But sometimes I'll get an order for something like this. And then I get to do it. Ooh, this one's cute. Look at that. But that guy's been so nice and awesome. He, um, could you know, there for a while, there was no one there. And so when packages and stuff would come in, he would get our packages and hold them for me. Just... That was very awesome and helpful. This one I want to go kind of inside there. So you can kind of angle it in and then just kind of put it in. There. Like that. But you see how it starts to fill in pretty quickly. And we have these. This is, see now I got the leaves that had a little bit more green on them. It also had this cream color in it. Formally trained? No. <laughs> I've been to a lot of floral shows. Oh, no this is just kind of instinct stuff yeah you know years of helping families with or my family with weddings and all that kind of stuff I always did the flower arrangement so and I've learned a lot over the years going to the floral shows and stuff. Let's see. There. Okay. This needs to go inside there. There we go. Yes, that looks good. I want to tell you what's funny. So I've been doing, going to these floral shows forever. And they'll have, sometimes they have um, people who were, you know, who went to school and got all the degrees and all that stuff. And sometimes they have people who just taught themselves. And it's amazing how, how people kind of see that, envision that. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see, so we need a little something in here. I think one of these 
this would be. Good. <laughs> He'll come in and say, such and such with RFID and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't have any of that. I do have a CPA. <laughs> But I don't think that helps me any with this. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Because that's totally a different subject. Okay. There we go. I want to put this right up in here. Okay. Sometimes, if I don't feel like this pick is on there very well, I will put some tape on it. I don't know, I have crafted since I was a little girl. I've just always liked it. Perfect. So that fills in that little spot right there. Okay. So when I'm doing things for the cemetery, I do tend to put a little bit more in it than I do if I'm going to do something like for a table or a wedding or something like that. Because it sits on the ground so when it sits on the ground it just does a little bit better if you know if it's a little bit fuller then it will it'll look good longer and it'll look good in the vase oh that's so cute oh thank you okay let's see I just want to make sure they're about the same. Now, this one, of course, is in a tall cup. Yep, they look good. So, that's that one. And that's this one. Awesome. What do y'all think? We actually have plenty of more stuff, but I don't really think it needs anything else. Was that fun? That was fun. Hmm. So, these don't take me very long to put together, even with picking and everything. But, what I usually do is I take the amount of supplies that I spent, and I will add, I will multiply that by two and a half and then I'll add 25% and that's what I would charge. What did we say? What do we agree with? Which greenery? The only greenery that we have is the the bee grass. Oh, and then I gotta show you. Let me turn this off. Okay. I have. What did I do with my? I just had it. What did I do with it, y'all? Lordy. I'm. Oh my gosh, here it is. Okay. So once I'm done with it, what I'm gonna do, and I like to use this uh, looser moss. And I will just take, where's the glue gun? Oh, it's on the floor. <laughs> I'll just take this. There's something on the bottom. There we go. And I'm going to kind of glue, put some glue all around in here. Like this. And then I'm going to take my moss 
and I'm going to pack it in there because you don't know how far down the um, vase is going to be. So you want to make sure you just kind of, you know, cover it up just in case it kind of comes out a little bit below here. And it'll hold on really well with the glue. Sometimes I will put my little greening pips in there, but sometimes I don't. With this, I won't just because there's not a ton. If I have a lot, I will. Youch, hot. <laughs> hot glue. Okay, right in there. There we go. So see how it's got the moss around it? So then when you put it down, if it comes down a little bit, like if it's too high, then those, it will cover that. And I like to get mine in a bag. Hi. Well, thank you. I cannot remember the name of the flower. Let me see if it's written on the little thing. Which one of it was. I want to say it's a, I don't know. See, that's where you see I'm different than a florist because I don't know the names. I don't know the names of the flowers. I just know, ooh, pretty. <laughs> that's kind of sad, isn't it, y'all? I'll just say, oh, that's pretty. I'll take that. All right. Well, I think this one might have been it. to go look it up. I'm going to take these little tags and I'll put them in the video so y'all can see what I used. But I thought it might be fun if y'all, if I got on here and did it with y'all. So, I wish I had more of this because this would have looked really good in it. See that? But I only had one so I would really need two to do it properly. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm guessing that he's going to ask me to do one for Christmas, too, so I'm sure we will do it. Yep. All right, y'all. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Shows you something a little different. You can kind of see how, how my brain works when I'm doing these. And you can see what I did. So I picked, when I got these flowers, these flowers are cream with a little bit of yellow and brown in the middle. So then I picked more of the muted fall colors instead of the bright, right? So if you pick something like this, you would not want to go with the bright oranges and the bright yellows and the bright reds because it would just clash. It would not work. So we went with the more muted tones you see like these greens, this muted orange, this kind of rusty color, that works a lot better with, with that color scheme. Okay. I think I even have another one of, so see this is what, this is what it comes in, it's this little block. Yep. Cemetery vase insert. Just makes it a lot easier. Oh, my glue. My glue is, is just in a glue pot. It's really, it's really big because my small one broke last night. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, last night was fun. I think every night's fun, so I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, y'all. Well, this was fun. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I will see you guys. Oh, 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 oh. We got the churches in, and I got them listed. So if you've been waiting on the churches, go get it quick, because I got all he had. 
and when they're gone, they're gone. I did get some of the small white one, and I got I got this size, this size, and then there's one that I think is really cool. It's um, it's like natural. It's very flat, and it has like a bunch of lights on the front. So I think we're gonna do something with that one because I think it'll be awesome for wreaths because it's so flat that I think it will be really easy to put in a wreath. What, they can't be gone already? I just listed them. I listed like four or five different times. They're already gone? Oh, I don't know what fell out. All right, um, I'll try to go on here in a little bit. Oh, I want to show y'all. Did I? Hold on. I got some of these and I thought this would be fun to do a little project with. So these are on there as well. I got some of these in today. This is B452. Aren't they cute? I thought this would be fun. They're little trees. Now online they look a lot blacker, but they're actually pretty gray. I mean, it is black underneath, but it's more gray than black. So, yeah, I think, like, this one is XG22906. So, yeah. You give up. I have one for you, CC. You're good. CC's coming to help me with my, um craft show. So I have one put aside for her. Because isn't that nice? Yeah, they are. They're really cute. They're fun. So we'll do something. Maybe we can do something with one of those in a little while. I want to go take these over and check on um, peonies. Is that what this flower is? That makes sense. <sighs> yep. All right, well, I will see you guys in um, a little bit, maybe around eight o'clock. So give uh, Zora a little time to get up. So I'm gonna take these over. To Dixie, see how she's doing. Oh, look, see, look, you can see how it lights up. You can see the little light. Yeah. Yeah, Cece, yours is sitting back here. <laughs> it's in my, it's in my room. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll call Danny and see if he has any more. I don't know if he does. I know I bought all the black and white ones, but now there were several kinds. There were, um, there were, uh, smaller ones. There was a chapel. There was a, um, some kind of mountain something. So not all of them, they may not all be listed as church. So, yep. Oh, they're in there. Yay, see, they're in there. Awesome. Okay, y'all. Well, y'all have a great afternoon, and I'll see y'all later tonight. I think we'll do something with this. So, I just thought this would be fun. I think we might even do it on a grapevine. So, yeah. That'll be fun. Okay. Okay.